Hello. So, um, we're about to start episode 7 of uh, Brave New Speed Block. Uh, so, um, things are really starting to um, go quick. So, uh, I may not have time to actually explain how the builds work and uh, pretty much anything. <laughs> so, if you want a recap on uh, what actually happened up to this point, I do like a small base tour uh, at the end of. Uh, the last episode. Uh, so if you want to catch up on what's going on, uh, you should check that out. I think I'll keep up that format, so I'll do the same at the end of this one. So yeah, that's uh, how it's gonna look. Now things are really getting crazy as I said. Uh, let me actually show you here. So uh, this is my planning for this episode. Uh, I have a list here where which text I'm supposed to research, which um, uh, blueprints I made and in what order I'm going to place them. And then uh, a bunch of things I need to do at the beginning of the uh, session. Uh, so my plan was to have shorter sessions now that uh, like I have more bots, I have quicker bots, uh, I have more resources. Uh, so. Keeping the sessions shorter will mean that this list is short as well. And last session was like two hours, but this still this list is still this long. So it's um, this session is going to be even shorter than that. Uh, but just based amount the uh, just based on the amount of stuff that I will place, uh, I think expansion will be pretty good. So just um, bear with me here while I work through this list. Uh, there. I think we're good to go. So let's get in here. Load game. I'm still in 0 0.18.32. Uh, here we have Brave and New Speed Block 6. So about to start episode 7. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So, first research, gas steam cracking. Oh, uh, since I'm playing single player, the game is actually paused when I'm in tech tree, so I, I guess I have some time in here, but yeah. Uh, the first research I'm doing is gas steam cracking two. Okay, so I do actually have some time to explain here. The reason I'm getting this is because uh, there's a recipe here uh, to get rid of residual gas and make it into synth gas. And also I need it to for uh, later on as well. So that's the first one. So let's actually get going. Uh, let's import a new blueprint book, uh, number four here. And I will start with the one called more iron, just right away. Uh, so construction bots can go place that. Uh, I have so many things to do here. Uh, I need to add uh, iron ore into the lodge network. Uh, this thing is completely out of um, uh, iron ore. So I need to change this to a requested chest. Uh, what else? Uh, I can uh, place here uh, a buffer chest, which uh, will uh, request uh, stone. Uh, no, uh, sand, uh, landfill. So I have uh, lots of lodge bots, not very many construction bots. So just doing that will uh, uh, speed up my expansion. Uh, I need to limit these chests. This uh, produces way too much, so just do half a row. So I want to buffer up my uh, my mineral sludge here. Uh, you're done. Uh, so there. I actually, connect this lodge network. If iron ore is less than um, 500, then output. There we go. Uh, you are you placed? Uh, yep, so request iron ore, request 200, uh, bots will deliver that, 2200. Uh, do, 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 do. Over here we have uh, red circuits, uh, I'm gonna increase this buffer to 40. Uh, there we go, uh, hello super crazy min max, uh, thank you. Uh, it's pretty much what, uh, I'll be doing pretty much what um, uh, I did from planning last time. Uh, place this again because this includes uh, fiberglass. 
I mean, I did um, uh, like a planning session uh, where I did most of these things. Uh, do, do, do. Iron pipe needs to request from buffer chests and it needs to request more. Also, I'll uh, upgrade the simple machine. Uh, Desert garden replication, uh, which are placed here. Uh, something broke here, so it needs to request three of them to not store. And then I'll place... Um, Uh, this one, uh, three more of these, and I need to make sure to get rid of uh, these as, uh, inserters. There. Uh, this thing, uh, I want uh, actually more of these, so I'm gonna make ten of each. And this one. So, are you placed? Yeah. Uh, place the iron. So this gives more iron. Uh, place um, logic glass again. There, room some power plants. Yeah, uh, I want to fix something with stone here. So I redid this last time, but I didn't actually finish it. So this is supposed to look like that. Uh, down here, I'll place um, a splitter. Uh, and move like that. So half the uh, stuff goes into the lodge network and uh, we'll make sure there's 5,000 um, uh, bricks in the actual uh, network. Uh, upgrade the stone one again. Now oh, where is it? Uh, iron pipe. I can actually upgrade the uh, sto uh, stone uh, pipe as well. Uh, over here we have some things I need to change. Uh, you should not request copper. You need to be changed to request a chest. You should uh, request some more. Uh, over here at Silicon, this is supposed to be uh, uh, a provider chest. I don't actually know how much I want there, so I'm gonna place um, uh, Blueprint 318 again. There. Uh, upgrade the um, so here we have a chest with charcoal uh, if I actually remove this power plant and let's do the same here and that's already done and this one we can do remove this power plant that's done already uh, just to make sure this one as well Remove half the power plant. Gas steam cracking is done. So we'll start on grinding. Here we go. Uh, over here, I want more uh, uh, lime. So I'm upgrading uh, washing plant and blast runs to Mark 2. Uh, what else? Uh, far over on the right side here, I will upgrade this to a provider chest. I will upgrade this to a provider chest. And uh, I will um, add gold ingots to the lodge network. Uh, down here at um, transistors, uh, I'm going to request a lot more here. It's so like 50 of those, 50 of those, and 100 of those. Oh, not a hundred, not a thousand, one hundred. Okay. Uh, over here uh, in the mall, I'm making uh, crystallizers. I want to have uh, the biggest stockpile of those, so I'm gonna uh, add to twenty and. Over there. So now it will make 20 of them. Uh, here I will place a provider chest to make gold ingots into lodge network. Uh, strand casting machine 1 uh, needs to request a buffer chest, this chest. Otherwise I won't get any of those. Not placing red circuits blueprint? No, not until I have uh, more solder. 
there's no point before that. Uh, connect. Uh, gold ingot. Uh, one uh, as long as it's less than 24. Grinding wheel is done, so it's time to crystal splinters. Uh, okay, so uh, iron here is up. Uh, do one row only, uh, half a row. Uh, so it's time for the next blueprint. Uh, stuff for everything. Uh, just place that here. Uh, so there are no lodger bots available. I have uh, 240 construction bots. Yeah, so logic bots are uh, busy. Uh, how are things looking here? I guess they're working. Okay, place the blueprint. And then next up, we go and make more plastics. So this goes right there. Uh, I think that the construct uh, lodger bots are pretty busy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, plastics and resin is uh, really important because I have this much left <laughs> as a basically nothing. So um, I really got to place these blueprints quick. Logic bots are busy delivering uh, everything. But at least I have iron. And copper. And steel and tin. So that's something. And uh, where are the bots? Uh, they're up here charging. Crystal splintered on. Mm, nothing really going on here. Do um, solder smelting. Uh, where was I? I was gonna check if uh, I'm making bots. Yeah. So I'm making a lot of logic bots, which means that uh, blue science will suffer a bit. But I don't have red circuits anyway, so because logic bots are so busy. Uh, just stop this uh, the request there because I need to get um, more logic bots and not tax them too much. So here's the plastics build, and then right off that we go right right into resin. Uh, this fits. Uh, I need to remove those two power poles, and then this fits right there. So this is a small build that makes like eight times as much plastic as uh, <laughs> the whole thing. Uh, how is this looking? Yeah, I'm missing some buildings. Right, can place the resin. So th these are using the um, substation 2s now. And all these builds have uh, lamps in them, so you can see them uh, during the night. So that's really nice. Uh, what I'll also do here is... Um, uh, once this is up and running... Uh, it should be now. It should have all it needs. Uh, it needs a few chemical plants, actually. I hope these buildings are being made down here. And once solid smelting is done, uh, just do aluminium smelting. Poor bots. So busy. <laughs> okay, one is placed. That means I'm actually getting plastics now. Uh, resin should be starting to work at any moment as well. Yeah, uh, so I'll deconstruct the old um, thing. So no more old plastics. I don't need this uh, mineralized water. 
Uh, I don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need this. Nope. Nope. Uh, this can go. That can go. Uh, the old resin can go. This can all go. I'll keep the residual gas. Alright, that cleaned up a uh, bunch of stuff here. Is this working? Uh, yeah, I'm getting plastics. What about um, resin? You need to request a chest? Why don't you have that? You need green circuits, but you are requesting it, so it should be okay. Um, yeah, it's still the same problem as before. Uh, the problem is I don't have enough Logibots, or I'm, I'm using the Logibots too much. Uh, so uh, the Logibots not delivering stuff here, so I'm not getting enough green circuits. Uh, but just stopping a, a while means that the Logibots have actually built all the buildings that are needed. Uh, and then there are Logibots available. So now suddenly there's like a hundred iron being delivered here, which means the Logibots are about to catch up. So yeah, 180. Uh, yeah, 200 iron about to be delivered. So now Logibots are starting to pick up um, uh, basic control comp components, and then this will um, actually work again. So that should mean that I will get the requested chests that I need. Yeah, uh, six uh, uh, green circuits are now heading over here. So, uh, let's place the next blueprint. There's 600 landfill here. Uh, raw crystal splinters. So what I'm actually going to do today is venture into modules. I was very skeptic at first uh, when uh, uh, I noticed that um, uh, the guy called Lovely Santa, who uh, pushes a lot of the updates for C-Block, or angels actually um, introduced uh, like a new inefficient uh, recipe to make um, uh, the first uh, prod modules but having look looked at it now um, it's not too bad so uh, I feel like yeah I'm gonna do it place lost ones please so this uses the same fish tanks as before and it just makes the artificial, uh, polluted artificial fish water into uh, crystal splinters. Where, where, are th where are the lost ones? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, so, so it makes the uh, same as uh, this recipe. Uh, a lot of um, uh, crystal splinters, uh, which I will buffer up for now, but later export. Uh, after that one, uh, how Logibots? Still busy. Uh, I'm running a bit low on power now. So I will place in another power plant. Uh, that was uh, 7 part 2. So this will go like, um, I would want to place this here, but uh, I'm going to place another blueprint later and uh, I want some extra room, so this will go, yeah, there's more than enough. So, Logibots, uh, ooh. I have Logibots, so I request some sand. Wow. Nice, and uh, that helps with uh, building this quicker. That should mean that I'm actually getting green circuits. Pretty much. Which should mean I'm getting red circuits. 
more or less. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, blue science research is going slow now because I only have um, zero blue science. <laughs> but it is making it. Uh, at least when, I, when I'm getting uh, red circuits here and green circuits. But I'm not in that extreme hurry of uh, blue science now, so I, I'll still prioritize making more bots. Increase this to 500. Make sure bots are working. Aluminium smelting. Yeah, that's the automation. So this um, uh, unlocks assembly machine 4, which is great because these have four module slots. And they're pretty quick. So um, I really like those. I really have a lot of bots available. Huh. Uh, how much uh, sand do I have? 1900? E. Uh, that's not a lot. So, some bottlenecks I'm gonna run into here. Our um, solder is gonna run out. Uh, tin is kind of low. Uh, I can already change this to a requested chest. And request tin, so I'll make sure I have some there. Uh, aluminium should be okay. Uh, gold should be okay. Yeah, stuff should work fine. Uh, when there's time, uh, place one more of uh, uh, these down here. So lodge bots can keep working. Yeah, so lodger bots, which I have 1300 of, are delivering sand to this chest. And then the construction bots, with which I only have 300 of, are picking up from this chest and placing down here. So uh, construction bots don't have to fly all the way over here uh, to the actual um, uh, landfill. Oh, I'm running low on power. Yeah, roboports are charging for <laughs> 40 megawatts, 48 megawatts peak. So it will be good when uh, uh, this is actually placed. More power. Go, go. Resonip is upright. Yeah. So it's making fiberglass boards and it's making resin. And I'm getting plastics here. So that's good. Uh, this uh, burns the residual gas or converts it into synth gas, which I'm currently not using, so it's just buffering up here for now. Uh, this takes a lot of hydrogen from uh, the first two um, uh, rows here of electrolyzers, which otherwise would just be flared, so uh, I think that's a really good idea. If I ever need to expand this, uh, I can just grab from them another one. Uh, how's this looking? Logibots are delivering 1000 sand down here, wow. Okay, uh, let's play 7 part 2 again, right there. Missing a few things, but it should get done. Did I go through everything? No, I missed the add copper ingot. So I'm gonna add copper ingots to the uh, lodge network. Bots are delivering so much sand on here now. Charcoal, uh, thick silicon. I think I did all of it. So after this uh, sand has been placed, uh, the bots need to catch up on uh, 
whatever they behind one again. So they should do it. What's power doing? I would like them to place the robot port so I can place the blueprint again up here. But it will get done. So after that, uh, most of the bots are available. Nope, but soon. Some bots are available. Ah, there we go. So that will be placed, and then... Um, turn off delivering a sand here for now. So now I want to place some blueprints here. So the whole like purpose of um, uh, the session today is to expand resources uh, in preparation for making um, pink, yellow and purple signs. So like I have the iron production that I need now. I have tin, I have steel, I have copper. Uh, I do have the plastics. So this makes a lot of plastics. Uh, I have uh, uh, resin. Uh, about that, I should upgrade these. So, those are supposed to be upgraded. That's supposed to be upgraded. Those are supposed to be upgraded. And that, and that. So, uh, when I have the stuff, it will actually upgrade it. But it, it's working now. It's like chemical plant twos. But it's supposed to be threes. Uh, I, I haven't researched that yet, though. Uh, seven, part two. Place this again. Done. So that's the power plant. It should be running soon. But uh, it's uh, sorted now, so I don't have to go back there. Uh, so the bots are available. Yep. Uh, time to do um, more aluminium. Uh, how's um, tin copper wire? Uh, hundred, uh, tin wire coil, 118. Uh, solder, uh, good amount. Aluminium, good amount. Uh, this can be turned into... I don't know, but, but limited. How can... I thought this would back up, but no. Production is going well. Power is a bit. Yeah, it's good that it will be up and running soon. Larger bots are done. Construction bots. Yeah, look at this. They're just picking up from uh, the chest here and placing this. Goes so much quicker than uh, them having to go all the way. Uh, larger bots. Ooh. Um, okay, no, chill. Save some larger bots. <laughs> They are delivering like 670 here. I'm actually running low on uh, landfill. Uh, power plant is up. The first power here is being produced. Uh, great timing because I was uh, fairly low there. So this will uh, be fully online in like a few minutes only. So it goes quick. Replicating here. Seems to be going well. Yep, fair enough. Uh, so, construction bots are probably grabbing sand from somewhere else. Yeah, up there. Six available. Uh, also, after this, I want to do some tin white coils. Uh, I can just place that right here. That's a small blueprint. Did I change this to a request chest? No. 
No. Forty-eight now. Yeah, those uh, are going down. Uh, how much landfill? One point three, of which five hundred is here. Okay. Uh, more aluminium. Let's place that blueprint. That's a big one. So this makes um, jevolite and rubite. It crushes it. Uh, it's flotation jevolite and rubite. But then logibots have to deliver uh, the products from it. Uh, I'm just getting out the uh, nitric, uh, whatever it is, and uh, jevolite things. And um, yeah, excess mineralized water is being crushed. Uh, then we have an ore sorting facility here, uh, making aluminium more. And then uh, the whole process there, and I will actually get aluminium plates out of this. Automation 4 is done. So let's uh, start on the modules. So, modules lab. Uh, some entities are missing construction robots. So yeah, uh, here I have actually included in the blueprints um, uh, Prod zero modules. Well, that one went quick. Let's do actual modules So tin wire coil right there That's power uh, power production did increase a bit. So yeah, it's mostly up. How many uh, crystals? 39 rock crystal splinters. Not not that many. Uh, after this one is done, uh, I'm gonna do um, the next one, which is lead solder, sodium and chlorine. And now I think I'll run out of construction bots and landfill. 900 landfill. I mean, the first landfill went quick because uh, the chest was up there. But now the rest of them have to go and grab from uh, the chest far to the north. But since all my lodger bots are busy because I placed new blueprints, uh, so lodger bots are delivering uh, sodium hydroxide down here. Uh, what limit does this have actually? One. Okay, good. Yeah, there's um, so many things the logic bots need to do. And the con construction bots right now. But I'm getting pro progress done here. Sand is down to 450. Uh, so, checking out sand production. Uh, it is uh, about 80, 90 sand production per minute. I had a peak there when I uh, s used up all the uh, slag uh, last session. But it's it's steadily been uh, s kind of increasing over time. So right now we're at uh, like 90 per minute. Yeah, almost. So 505, 106, yeah. Uh, missing, um, oh, I can place um, uh, stuff for everything again, because now it includes um, uh, assembly machine fours. Logibot's still busy. Uh, because this also needs an assembly machine 4, so... Yeah. Just place the last ones. Okay, so this uh, is Crotinium. Uh, rubite crushes that. Um, it makes lead. Uh, it, uh, it produces its own oxygen with an air filtering chemical plant. Uh, it makes lead plates. It makes lead ingots. Uh, did I actually finish the copper? No, I didn't. 
So you go there, you connect the larger network if uh, copper ingot is less than 600, then output. Modules are done. Um, I can't research productivity module yet because I don't have uh, productivity circuit boards, so I'll just uh, start on something else. And I'll start on sulfur processing 2. Uh, this is needed to get um, uh, uh, hydrogen fluoride gas, which I need for uh, tungsten. So, got to do this. Missing lots of chemical plant threes. Are you not getting anything at all? What's going on? Uh, that's because I haven't researched it yet. <laughs> that makes sense. So, uh, solder is pretty much done. It just needs to place the... Um... Yeah, okay, it is being delivered. So yeah, it, it will be done. Uh, because solder here is running a bit low. There's several left. Uh, I'm going to change this into a requested chest. Uh, what else do I want to change into a requested chest? Sulfur processing, uh, advanced oil processing. Yes, yeah, so advanced chemistry 3 is needed to make the chemical plant mark 3s, so uh, I'll, I'll get to that. I just need oil steam cracking and advanced gas processing and then I can make them. But it's okay for now. Uh, Tim Wright coil was low, but uh, I think I'm making more. Uh, you were actually lacking uh, uh, copper ingots. But if this thing has placed the um, chest, then it will be fine. It hasn't placed the chest. You're missing green circuits. And that's uh, probably just missing uh, lodger bots. But as soon as Logibots are done delivering stuff to the new things I built, then uh, it will uh, be ready. Aluminium is up. A new solder is um, up as well. So I need to actually request over here. Uh, where was it? There. Request on solder, uh, I don't know, 400, six, no, do 600. So it won't actually do anything now, but uh, soon so. Uh, same thing with uh, the aluminium here. This thing should consume more aluminium that it produces, so it would be good to swap this to a requested chest. How's it doing? Still no provided chests for copper ingots, eh? There you go. Now it's being delivered. That means um, I think copper wire will be working. Uh, how's this looking? Almost backed up aluminium already. Good amount of solder. Uh, about the construction bots, I now have 1000 landfill. So after I place this, I have solder, I have um, most of the basic stuff that I need. Uh, I'm going to place um, more red circuits. So this is um, just an updated version of uh, the first one I made. Uh, but it uh, has some optimizations. So like these inserters are now 45 degree ang angle instead of 90. So they work a bit quicker. And I'm going to upgrade um, the assembly machines here. Also, it's way, way more overkills the limits here. So this is now requesting 2,000 basic electronic components. It's making 3,000 of them. So 
it's just overproducing here. So when I have Logibots, they're going to deliver lots of stuff here. And then I will have buffers, which so these can continue working even when I'm low on Logibots. So that's the thought behind that. Uh, oil steam cracking. There we go. Uh, construction bots are available. So let's place... Um, I could go for modules now, or I could just get more splinters. Uh, I think I will prioritize the splinters. Uh, Crystal Splinters Pot 2. So this is a blueprint that fits in just right up here. There we go. It's getting fairly close to the worms, but it should still be out of range. So uh, the Pot 2 of this is pretty much the same as uh, uh, the first one. Just double it. So compared to only having this, I'll have three times uh, the uh, Crystal Splinter production. And this is basically prod modules. Okay. Not a lot of landfill left. I don't think I have enough landfill to place all this right now. Eee. But uh, since landfill production... Is up to like over 100 per minute now. Um, should be fine. Uh, how's this looking? I have uh, both Sephirate and Stereotite in the Logi network. Logibots are busy. Yeah. That happens. Isn't this uh, a filter inserter? I thought I fixed that. Whatever. Uh, it will export some uh, crushed stone somewhere. Can't be bothered. All lodge bots, all construction bots are busy. <laughs> okay, so they're requesting solder. Loads up here. So yeah, they're, they're really buffering up um, or starting on working on the buffer here. Which means uh, larger bots are soon caught up with uh, all that they're doing. That seems fine. Time-wise, how are we doing? Uh, we started at 20 hours 12 minutes and now at 20 hours 50 minutes. So 40 minutes have gone. I don't know, I placed three blueprints here, uh, a couple here, yeah, decent progress. Yeah, how's sound? I think I'm out. <laughs> F50? <laughs> well, I had enough to place this, so that's good. And again, I'm making 100 per minute, so um, I'll soon get some more. So it's going to be fine. Did I change aluminium into requested chests? I did. So, request like 600 there as well. I don't know. They are so busy. Oh, they're delivering copper wire. 
This should be delivering um, uh, these soon. Not quite in big amounts yet, though. Can I place the blueprint? Almost. Sand is already up to 250. Okay. How many splinters? 93. Alright. Power should be fine now that I have a new power plant. Okay, it's done. Uh, place this. Right there. This is just uh, more crystal splinters. Logi bots are still extremely busy. How's Logibot production? Yeah, pretty steady. 6.8 per minute. So it's increasing. Bots have to pick up so much stuff. So Sora is almost backed up. This is backed up. Yeah, so when once uh, things actually back up, uh, it means that uh, the... Um, Logibots bots will have uh, not as much to do. Are we done? Uh, it looks like I'm missing a bunch of fish tanks, uh, a few other things, but it is placing it, uh, including pipes. Right, how much uh, sand? 500. Uh, let's actually begin on the module uh, build. So this is something that goes right here. Uh, fairly close to the big main wall. Where all the lodge bots are. <laughs> uh. are, you doing, are you actually delivering now? Oh, look at this, it's delivering basic ultra components. Finally, uh, it's working at full speed. There we go. Uh, after oil steam cracking 2, it's uh, advanced gas processing. So that's the last one before our advanced chemistry 3 and actual um, um, Mark uh, 3 uh, chemical plants. Just the fact that bots are doing something with basic electronic components means that they've pretty much caught up. Because for some reason this has the lowest priority of all items almost. So if the bots are busy elsewhere, they will not uh, move basic electronic components. And those are like one of the vital steps in uh, green circuit production. So suddenly, if you don't have um, lodge bots available, you don't get any green circuits. That's just how it works. Sand went down to 100. <laughs> okay. Ooh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I have for carbon here, but I can place this blueprint again. Uh, more red circuits. Uh, so this will uh, just expand the carbon a little.
or carbon production. It doesn't expand the amount of carbon in the network, but it uh, expands the production of it. Thank you, Rosa Camel. Uh, these are working. So even when Logibots will be really busy, uh, these things will work. I wish that I had the fast inserters, but you know, uh, fast inserters is a difficult tech to get. It's um, it's like 30 red and green signs. So no, uh, it's too expensive. Uh, let's play some margins instead. What it actually needs is um, uh, bronze, and I don't have bronze. Because uh, bronze is, uh, as you see here, an extremely expensive tech for 50 red signs. I'll do it later. I, I, I need to get modules up, that's more important. Way better. Don't need fast inserters. Uh, Logibots, how are you doing? 1500 of them now, wow. Fail attempt at trolling was fail. Okay. Some buildings needed. Oh. I hate this. Uh, the bots are trying to recharge at the charging point which has no power and it can't place the substation because that bot is here charging so I need to deconstruct it is there any bot here or is that bot that is supposed to deconstruct this also <laughs> trying to charge from it uh. hello Stop deconstructing, then deconstruct again. Come on. I knew this was going to cause troubles, so I was considering removing this thing from the blueprint and then manually placing it later. Where are my construction bots? Okay, don't deconstruct, deconstruct. This is like when, um, uh, last episode, when this whole thing backed up because too much purified water, and that was like a shock to me because it has always worked, and deconstructing this has always worked. Why does it not work now? Place that land instead. So weird. Can anyone place that then? Where are my construction bots? There we go. So place a substation mark two there. This means that this will be in range, which means this can charge. Uh, so I no longer need to deconstruct it, and then uh, it will place that and everything will work. Unless, of course, the bot coming to place the substation is gonna go there to charge. <laughs> then I'm screwed. Logibot still are not caught up. Okay, is it placing? Yeah, it's placed it. Nice. Okay, it works. So dumb. Right, they will uh, catch up now. Uh, anyway, 
uh, that was uh, the build for modules. So, um, uh, this takes um, uh, hydrogen chloride gas uh, from this, makes it into a ferrochloride solution, which makes uh, boards of different kinds. Uh, it is supposed to import silicon here uh, in two different places. Yeah. Uh, and then all the crystal splinters, uh, which are being uh, made into cut uh, crystal splinters here, and then made into uh, what are they called? Polished ones, uh, and so on, and so on. And uh, eventually, uh, I will make these into um, uh, prod modules after they've actually uh, made some of these uh, circuit boards. So I can uh, make the labs and uh, use the, uh, those things to actually research with. So, yeah, uh, they're, they're getting stuff done there. Logibots still not caught up. Uh, which is kind of bad, because now this uh, buffer is empty, so... Um. Fifteen, thirty-three Logibots, though. Alright, they, they are working on it. What are you missing? You're missing sulfuric acid because you're missing uh, a chemical plant Mark 3. Really? Wow. From chemical plant Mark 3 to Mark 2. I was not expecting that either. Okay, now it's making sulfuric acid, uh, which means this will work, uh, which means this will work. So now it's actually up and running. Uh, so we can upgrade this to Mark uh, 3 again. Time to research Advanced Chemistry 3. I finally get that Chemical Plant 3 there. Everything else here uh, appears to be working now. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, mineral sludge is running low. So construction bots. Uh, let's place the um, electrolyzer three sludge blueprint again. So this makes uh, another row of these. Uh, which is just more mineral sludge. How much sand do I have? 400. <clears throat> That's not enough. <laughs> but at least bots can uh, work on this. Uh, because I kind of need more mineral sludge at this point. I only have 35,000 left. I think I was... Uh, I don't know. Way over 100,000 before. Uh, how's... Um uh, uh, Sapphirite is 5.8, Stereotite 1900, so not a lot of Stereotite. I think it's good enough though. It should be. You're missing tin? Ah, Stereotite. Uh, well, uh, more mineral sludge would help a lot. Since I'm low on uh, sand, there's no real point, in, and low on uh, logibots, there's no real point in placing uh, uh, sand in the actual logic chest there, or buffer chest. So the bots will just have to pick up uh, sand from far away. I can use this to see how much I have though, which looks like nothing. 66 after all the 300 bots are picking up uh, uh, two each, so 
There's like 600 on the way, and then there's 66 left. <laughs> Another landfall. But, uh, this used up a lot of landfall, and uh, it is up and running. So it's making uh, more fish and uh, polluted artificial fish water, which is just more crystals. Uh, which means I will get uh, a lot of quad modules compared to just this one. In fact, three times as many. So that's nice. How's this uh, looking? Uh, the replication? Uh, not all of these are working yet. So you need to uh, speed up. It's replicated 122 times already. Each time I get uh, an extra of two alien plant life samples. So it's like what 240 extra and each of these are 30 so uh, that's six extra desert gardens eight extra eight extra desert gardens uh, so they, they will keep replicating here a long while longer uh, but soon I will include uh, swamp gardens and actually get mushroom potatoes uh, how's this looking still no bots available wow uh, but mineral sludge here is a problem. Uh, it's already run out down here. Well, they are in storage, so... Okay for now. And I still have everything I need at this point. Because again, uh, these resources... Uh, the production here is balanced around uh, uh, being able to support um, production of pink, yellow and purple signs of 4 per minute. Now, 4 per minute doesn't sound like a lot, but it's still... Um, uh, uh, that's 4 times 60, uh, which is 240 uh, per hour of uh, pink, yellow and purple. So uh, that should last um, a long while. How's um, blue science is really suffering from um, lack of uh, green circuits? It has solder though. It has solder, so uh, you can request some tin. Not that you need it right now, but yeah. Have some silicon ingots still. Impressive. Uh, missing 300 landfill. Mm, you know what? Just so that the bots are doing something. Uh, place this again. It was 17. Yeah. So the bots can start to place some stuff uh, while I'm waiting for a landfill. So when the landfill is placed, then I place the rest of the blueprints. Uh, the rest of it will be done more quickly. Yeah, Blue Science is really suffering. I'm considering uh, turning off some uh, uh, bot production, but not really. <laughs> Uh, over here we have, uh, yeah, these are working. These are making green signs, uh, green circuits. Uh, red circuits are working. I'm not really sure what they're doing with them because they only make modules. And um, oh, how about that. Uh, it's time to research prod modules. I had a lot of uh, these uh, productivity circuit boards. So we can research uh, prod modules. It goes uh, reasonably quickly as well. Missing entities. Yeah, it will soon catch up.
So I only have a few more blueprints left here. So this um, planning for these sessions uh, really getting out of hand now. So I've done 25 hours-ish of planning for this session, which will be like one and a half hours. And that's, it's um, not sustainable. Uh, so, I don't know how long I will be able to keep this up <laughs> before burning out on this. Because the to-do list just keeps increasing, uh, getting bigger and bigger. And there's, uh, I don't know, it feels like there's no end in sight, but I know there's an ending. Uh, I have played this uh, casually, but speedrunning is um, yeah, a different thing. Speedrunning C-block is a different thing. Oh, only missing 51 um, sand now. That's like nothing. Place this again then. Prod module is almost done. What I like about this now, having resources, I can keep um, like placing blueprints just as I finish research or something. Well, more or less. Uh, so that's nice. 1600 Logibots and all are busy. <laughs> uh. Right, it made all the sand. Now bots just have to del deliver it. Prod module is done, go back to um, advanced chemistry, and let's place the module's uh, blueprint again. Okay, so productivity zero cable harness. Was this so close to being researched? I don't know. Uh, after that, let's go for um, chemical refining. So this is to make uh, different crystals, and it's what I need to make, uh, uh, first of all, uh, gold. But uh, here we go. Uh, the first prod module is about to be made. If bots can deliver it. Hello. Oh, there, there. The first prod zero module. Now, I'm sticking to Prod Zero modules for a while, because Prod 1s are like 6 times ex as expensive as this, and give 6% bonus, while this give, uh, gives 4% uh, bonus. And Prod 2s and Prod 3s are uh, unrealistic now. Uh, also, you need biters, uh, or biter refugiums, or whatever they're called, uh, puffer nests and whatnot, uh, to get uh, Prod 1s, uh, while you can do Prod Zeros with just the fish. So, uh, I'm gonna stick with Prod Zeros for now. Uh, but still, uh, there are four percent productivity bonus each, and most of these assembly machines that are Mark IV um, can have four of them. Uh, so that's going to be sixteen percent increase. So that's that's going to be really good. Uh, how are you done? I placed all the land. I think so. So finish off this, and let's actually get some more mineral sludge. Can you put prods in the prod production, and uh, not the actual. Uh, Assembly machine making prod modules, and these can't be prodded. Uh, hello, by the way. Uh, but this one can be. So the electronic assembly machine making productivity circuit boards, this can be prod modeled. Uh, all of these, I have like 48 prod modules in blueprints here that uh, the bots will aut automatically place. Uh, but yeah, it's running. It's making it. Now this... Um, a crystal splinter thing build that I have is enough to support three prod modules per minute. So placing this would take like 15 minutes, uh, those 46 modules, if everything is up and running. But it, it sort of should be. Uh, about that, let's actually place the um, uh, stuff for everything. What's called? There. Because now 
It makes chemical plant threes. That was the only building I was missing. And they're pretty cheap as well. It's just like uh, one red circuits and some brass and aluminium. It's nothing. Uh, how's this doing? Um, it is actually making more mineral sludge, I think. Yeah. Terrific. Uh, it has all the buildings. It's just, yeah, they're flying. They're on the way. There we go. Oh, also need um, electrolyzed electrodes, which are also on the way. So there, uh, that was uh, mineral sludge increased by... Uh, uh, oh, I did the math off off stream. Uh, it's actually 6,750 mineral sludge per minute uh, for each of these builds. <laughs> so yeah, uh, everything that needs mineral sludge now is getting it. About that, I kind of need more. Um, um, no, I have enough of that. What about tin? Uh, solder? Uh, I could use some. So let's place some. Um, I copy the uh, stereotype one. I don't have any. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, right here. Place a few of those. You should add that to the BP description. <laughs> How much uh, mineral sludge it makes. <sighs> Alright, fine, just fill it, fill it up. Uh, because this was, um, it, it says as long as there's more than 2,000 stereotypes in the logic network, it will output. But if it isn't, then it won't do anything. And right now I'm using way more stereotype uh, than sapphire, Because I have like 7,000 of these and only 2,000 of those. So this this will be good to get some extra sapphire here to uh, tin. Okay, so it's made four prod modules so far. It's actually lacking green circuits. Do you need to increase this buffer? I don't think you do, but uh, I might just be low green circuits. Yeah, because um, bots are busy. They really should catch up though. Uh, anyway, how's gold looking? I uh, still have fine, fine amount. Uh, sand. Uh, 635. Uh, let's place another blueprint. Uh, this is for uh, some petrochem. Uh, I'm not a fan of petrochem, but uh, you need it, so yeah. Uh, what this needs is to deconstruct just this part. There, and then I can place this one right there. So um, this petrochem thing is basically just um, uh, the old recipe uh, is using crude oil and making base mineral oil, fuel oil, and nafta. But I'm gonna swap that process to something else, which makes more base mineral oil. So uh, as long as I have uh, 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 oil residuals, uh, I will get six times as much base mineral oil. And I need base mineral oil to make lubricant for bots, uh, but I also need it eventually for coolant. So I'm just swapping that uh, as long as I have oil residuals. Uh, right now it's producing it, but when I swap the recipe, it will burn through these and eventually I'll need to swap back. But uh, for, for now, I can get some more base mineral oil. I'm not using it, but I'm just, I'll just store it up. So it's gonna be fine. Logibots are coming. 
No construction bots, I mean. They're replacing everything. Can't see much, but uh, at least uh, if I place this again, some of the lamps should be placed. I'm thinking. Well, of course it's daytime now, so... <laughs> ah, well, you see, one lamp. Better than nothing. Two, three. Okay, good. Uh, missing a few. Ah, oh, there we go. So, yeah, this is just petrochem. It's the same as before. It makes nafta, fuel oil, and basement oil. But then it also burns raw gas into um, um, acid gas and um, the natural gas liquids, I think, or something like that, uh, which makes uh, methane, ethane, and butane. Methane, butane, and um, uh, methane. Yeah, methane, ethane, butane. Uh, so what is needed here is that the methane is needed for purple science, and uh, uh, this thing that makes hydrogen fluoride gas is needed to kickstart the uh, uh, tungsten process. So um, you don't get a lot of this, but that's just like what you need to get tungsten going. And then you can... Uh, because you need some tungsten to make the yellow labs. And then once you have that, you can use purple science to research better tungsten processes, which don't need this. But you need it to kickstart it anyway. So um, this is up and running. Uh, I won't do much with this. I will just swap back to the old recipe once uh, the oil residuals run out. But that should be a while. Uh, meanwhile, it has made 14 prod modules. Respectable. Uh, so, how much sand do I have? 570. Uh, how much mineral sludge? Mm, not really enough. So much prods? <laughs> what? Still needs a lot more. But yeah, I already made 16 of them. I'm low on uh, green circuits. Which again is just Logibots. I feel like these things should back up and then Logibots won't be needed uh, at the same extent. But for now, <laughs> uh, I could use a few more. So again, yeah, I'm just scaling up production. Uh, once I get pink signs, I can research more bot speed. Uh, I can research more bot capacity. Uh, I'm also going to make Mark II bots because they are like 40% quicker than Mark I ones. And that just requires brass, which I sort of have. Okay, here we go. Uh, now it's picking up uh, tons of these. Uh, which uh, means that... Um, yeah, it's buffering up here. So I'm catching up on Logibots again. Uh, which means green circuits are being produced uh, at a good rate. Let's upgrade that one as well. So can I just blueprint in um, prod models now or... There we go. 21 done. And uh, mineral sludge has been better. Sapphire is still increasing. I don't know why. Because I'm not using any ore right now. Chemical refining is done. 
So just straight up advanced ore refining, and this is to make gold and titanium. Also it unlocks a bunch of buildings, but I don't have processing units yet, so me. But gold and titanium. So just keep researching here. Well, uh, I guess bots can work on the next blueprint. So that's um, actual gold production. Uh, this fits in here. Uh, I also want to upgrade these so that I can put in prod modules in blue science later. Is all this working? Large up here as well. I guess I'll turn off um, turn off two irons so I get some more mineral sludge for um, aluminium and uh, gold up here. Does wood three not matter? I don't know. I mean, wood is good. Um, it's just one of those things that I don't research. I don't research arboretums. I don't research trains. I don't... Um, what else don't I do? I guess that's uh, the, the big ones that I don't do. For some reason. I don't know why. I avoid uh, yield slu uh, sl uh, mineral sludge for some reason. I don't know why either. Okay, landfill is being placed here. You know what, I, I kind of need some um, uh, green circuits for blue signs, so I'm actually going to turn off bot production for a moment. I have 1700 logic bots now. So, um, uh, we'll just buffer up some here, and then most of the green circuits will go to blue signs. Oh, this needed to be Mach 4 ones. Uh, about the prod modules, uh, no, I think I'll just let it co the, let them co catch up, and then I'll place um, uh, some modules manually in some buildings that I want, like blue signs. But we are starting to see some prod modules in uh, like buildings here. Can I grab these? Ooh, I can. Ha! Stolen. Uh, so place the um, modules blueprint again, so that uh, it does uh, uh, put, ba put them back in there. But the actual modules here, I'm not going to place in the blue signs. So this gives 16% uh, more blue signs for the same cost, so that's pretty good. Uh, I have 6 modules left over, uh, where do I want them? Uh, probably in this one, to make more, uh, even more. Okay, I have 182 here, so I guess I'll upgrade these ones just so they do things quicker. Uh, but yeah, good amount of modules. Gold is done, but I don't have the tech yet, so I'm gonna wait. Uh, how's this looking? Uh, it hasn't backed up yet? How is that possible? Okay, yeah, uh, it is now. So, yeah. 
better blue signs, 16% more. And as long as it has uh, prod modules, uh, no, green circles now, it will actually um, uh, work pretty much uh, full time. Still no logic bots. But they're sort of caught up. All oh, right, uh, so I did have two left over, so let's put them in green circuits. Nice. The upgraded one has finished five already. So I'm only missing eight prod models. Wow. Can um how's mineral sludge? Oh, I have mineral sludge. Great. Uh, research is just lacking some blue signs. But with more prod models here. Why do I say prod models? I mean green circuits. That should be better. I kind of want to place prod models there as well. It's almost caught up. Wait, what? Why did you not? Oh, come on. It doesn't want to place them now anymore? That's weird. Time for gold. So, advanced gold smelting 2. Is that working? So many logic bots everywhere. Well, I'll need to remember this. So I have placed all prod modules in the actual blueprint. Right, then deconstruct these. That and that. Did I pick from anything else here? I don't think so. And place them again, and there you have the recipes. I uh, don't add that one. Okay, that should be it. Now uh, the, it should place uh, prod modules for those as well, and uh, all should be fine. How's research? Why is it going so slow? Production was steady at 6 per minute, and then now it bumped up to like 10 per minute. Okay, uh, nothing to do about that then. It is running. Prod module green circuits. Nice. Okay, uh, just place the uh, gold uh, blueprint. Uh, what is left off of that? Nothing. Oh, uh, actually I need to uh, place uh, stuff for everything again. Because this has now leaching plants. And chemical furnace too. I don't know when they made that. 
So this is um, another weird blueprint. Uh, same as the modules one, it has <laughs> local sulfuric acid production uh, from imported sulfur. <laughs> so Logibots deliver sulfur, and then air filter provides oxygen, and the uh, hydro plant provides uh, purified water and stuff like that. So it makes uh, like 40 or 50 uh, sulfuric acid per second um, in this chemical plant. Something like that. It doesn't use that much up here, it doesn't use that much down here. But I mean, making blue circuits and some other stuff later on will require sulfuric acid, and then I can just take from here. So, um, like, I, I play stuff locally and have bots deliver what, whatever I need there. I can't believe the bots have been busy, like, continuously since I started this session. <laughs> uh, just wow. Can you request 24 instead? Uh, Minus launch. Yep, still have it. Uh, Sapphire keeps increasing though. Mm, that's uh, sort of bad. I need to do something about this. But not this session. So. Prod modules have uh, made more blue science. Uh, blue science research uh, up here. Yeah, there's several labs working. That's great. The research uh, is almost done. I need uh, one more um, leaching plant. There we go. How's red circuits? Not very many. Yeah, it's just like in bot... Um, bot delivery. They're, they're moving a lot of stuff down here right now. We've placed the last one. These prod modules require a lot of red circuits actually. Five each. Okay, gold. And then we... Uh, uh, this chest. Swap that to a requested chest. Because if this works, it uses more gold than this produces. So... Uh, this is a kind of weird recipe for gold. Uh, again, Logibots deliver everything, and um, yeah, it just goes around here. Yeah, it's using gold too, which uh, makes sort of a loop. So it needs gold ingots to make more gold ingots, but you get extra. So I just make sure that uh, everything goes back in here. I should put a radar because I can't see down here. It just keeps going around here, and then excess will be... Uh, Moved into this side, uh, which will make uh, uh, gilded copper wires and actual um, uh, gold plates. So it is up and running. This will just take a while to uh, fill up uh, the loop there. Uh, so that's it. How much sand do I have? 1.3 thousand. Uh, I'm tempted to place another one of those, uh, but I'll save that for um, uh, next session because I have some mineral sludge now. So I think I'm, uh, I caught up with what I wanted to do here, so I'm going to split here. Seven. So that took less than one and a half hours. One hour, 28 minutes ish. Okay, finally I can chill a bit. Ah. Ooh. Oh. All right, let's see what actually happened. What what did I do then? Let's go over things from the start. Uh, the first blueprint, Logi Sand Delivery. This I can place anywhere to have Logi bots be occupied instead of construction bots and by delivering sand near to where I want them. 
Uh, I ended up not using it that much because the Logibots are so busy in this game. Uh, I think the first thing I'll do next session is turn on uh, bot production again. Like that. Uh, but uh, we'll see. I'm actually using more a lot of boards now. Wow. Cool. Interesting. Um, makes a lot of green circuits. Wow. Yeah, and uh, that was that. Uh, the first blueprint was more iron, uh, which was right here. The recipe isn't set for uh, uh, sapphire because uh, I have 10,000 sapphire. So, yeah, this is going to be a problem. Uh, where is it? Up here? There. <laughs> I, I need to consume this somehow. I'm not really sure how. Oh, look at this. Uh, bots are catching up and delivering charcoal. 300 charcoal being delivered there. Uh, how's the uh, replication going? Pretty much all of these are working now. One just finished. Many of them have extra gardens. A few at least. So I feel like I'm soon ready to um, uh, start Swamp Garden replication. Also, how is power? Power is holding on. Whenever I need to upgrade power now, I can just swap to uh, uh, upgraded uh, swamp farming. No, uh, upgraded um, uh, desert farming. Uh, which changes... Um, uh, what recipe is it? Uh, this one. Uh, blueprint, I mean. Uh, it changes um, the actual basic farms to upgraded... Uh, farms with desert upgrade. And then it places another row of power plants. Uh, of steam engines. So... Uh, this is basically doubling the power. So instead of 55 megawatts, uh, each of these makes 110 megawatts. And I can do that with uh, all of these. So uh, these right now produce like 220 megawatts, if necessary. But doubling that makes them produce 440, all of them. And I'm not quite up there yet. Uh, so maximum production is 220. It's using 190 now. Uh, but that's... Uh, Okay, I'm still using uh, old steam engines from, from the old stuff here. Uh, how much charcoal do I have in the network? 10,000. Yeah, so that's that's good. I, I can keep these um, steam engines for a while. Uh, these crystallizers made a lot of splinters. When I did the pra practice session, I felt like I wasn't getting enough splinters. Uh, I only had this one. Uh, which meant I wasn't getting any modules. So uh, that's why I included this blueprint, which ate up all the landfill. Like, I was low on landfill on everything else I wanted to do, just because uh, uh, of this blueprint. Had I not done this, uh, the landfill would have been enough down here. I mean, I don't think landfill is that great of a problem, because, yeah, we're up to 1800. Um, and landfill production increases uh, at, like, the rate where, um, where the more I expand, uh, or like mineral sludge production and ores, uh, the more um, landfill I get because, yeah, crushed stone makes sand, uh, makes more landfill. So let's check production of different things. Uh, I want to check the sand. It's this one. So, yeah, it was sort of steady around 100. Goes a bit up and down there, but about a hundred per minute. That's not too bad. Uh, what else can we check here? Uh, iron plates. Um, yeah. It's because I'm not consuming all, but uh, the production is. Ooh, the wooden boards, yeah. Uh, Production is 272. 
consumption was 380. For a long time. I don't know why it went down again now, but... Uh, I'm eventually going to need to do something about that. Uh, what else? Aluminium? No, that's ingots. Green circuits. Very steady at 218 per minute now. Nice. So it peaked a bit higher before the prod modules were in. But now it uses less resources because, yeah, 16% more. So technically it uses 16% less resources and sticks at 218 per minute. So that's very good. Mm, anything else here? Steel. Not really consumed, so it's not producing. Resin. Uh, still producing, which means it is consuming it, so that's interesting. Plastics going up and down there as well. Production is very high. As, uh, yeah, as you see there when I placed it, 150 per minute is the capacity. Uh, compared to the old plastics, which was uh, 30 per minute. So this should uh, last a while. Uh, glass. Production is capped at 225. Uh, it's producing way less now, so it doesn't need it. Sixteen percent extra is fourteen point eight percent less resources. Oh, thank you. Uh, production of red circuits. Pretty steady at forty nine per minute. Right now. Uh, prod modules. Uh, prod module production. Peaked at 7.5, wow. Uh, but average, last 10 minutes, has been 4 per minute-ish. I think that is more than... Um, uh, is manageable long term. So yeah, this, this stockpile here is going down. But it still means that... Uh, how, how long has it gone since I saved? 8 minutes. And I have 34 prod modules here. So I will be able to like place this wherever I want. Uh, red circuits, yeah. Upgrade these to Mark uh, twos, and I can fit in four prod models there. And then boom, uh, more stuff. Uh, probably yeah, more in this one. Uh, I can fit prod modules. Um, I don't even know where. I need to figure out where. But mostly science production, yeah. So like even up here, uh, green science, yeah. Go ahead, just upgrade these. It's put this in. Uh, labs cannot use them. Uh, I need to research lab 2 which is way after a uh, yellow lab. Uh, and yellow lab in itself is extremely ex expensive. But eventually labs will be able to hold two uh, prod modules as well. Uh, but not for a while. And we'll actually see if I manage to get that far. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, power is okay. Um, things are looking alright. Uh, I may I, I, because um, resource expanding, well, I don't know actually. Uh, as I said like three times today, uh, the point here was to expand more resource production so I can uh, keep it up during production of uh, yellow, purple, and pink science. Uh, the thing is, when I'm making yellow, purple, and pink science, uh, I s I s I'm sort of not expanding at the same rate. So I'm wondering if I need to make more landfill or not. Because up until now, I've not really have had to have any dedicated landfill. Every, every single like slag or crushed stone I get is just turned into landfill at all the different places. Uh, I have one dedicated thing here, but that mostly makes bricks. Uh, I mean, it makes a few uh, sand, but not, not very many. When this backs up, it does make it, but uh, this doesn't really back up because I, I keep expanding. So, I don't know. Uh, 
And I'll have to see what my to-do list for next session will be. Gold is working right, yeah. Can you have card modules? You can. Then you should have it. I really like the prod modules in the uh, ore uh, sorting facilities. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, so far so good. I think I might actually um, uh, make a blueprint for some extra sand. It feels like I need it. Just because I was low here. Um, so I don't know, maybe just overkill it. And make sure that uh, sand isn't a problem. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but then, uh, progress will continue. Uh, so what what I need uh, to do before I get uh, purple, pink, and yellow signs is I need to get titanium. I need to get tungsten. I need to get some bronze. Uh, I need to do um, uh, mushroom potato farming, which is a swamp garden replication. Which I should be able to do now once uh, I have a lot of desert gardens here. I should be able to do some swamp gardens. And then I should be able to do mushroom potatoes. And that gives me more alien goo. Uh, because this doesn't really produce a lot of alien goo. It has 410 finished in like, I don't know, two hours. <laughs> that, that's not a lot. Uh, uh, mushroom potatoes produce four each cycle in the farm. So, uh, and yeah. With those, I will be able to make um, plasma turrets, which means I can expand out in the worm area, so I'm no longer limited around here. So that's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to research radars, so I can actually see outside of this area, because I can't go further left than this. Just zoom out a bit. Uh, so radars will be good. Uh, fast inserters will be a thing when I have bronze, uh, which I need to get yellow labs. Well, I don't actually need fast inserters, but it's a prerequisite for it. So, um... Oh, look! Logibot's actually caught up, because I didn't do anything for 10 minutes. <laughs> so, suddenly there's 900 Logibots available. And there's a lot of uh, blue signs. Even though I did enable that again. Okay. Yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, that's this session, and um, uh, we'll see how it looks for the next one. So, see you next time.